Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel UX Symbol. Today I'll be talking about 10 usability heuristics. So being an UX designer, you should master these 10 heuristics, which I'll be talking about today. So let's see what is heuristics evaluation. Heuristic evaluation is a problem solving method used to analyze the usability issues in the user interface, that is UI. Heuristics is one of the quick and easy usability evaluation method in UX. So let's see what are 10 usability heuristics that are broad rules of thumb. The first one is visibility of system status, match between system and the real world, user control and freedom, consistency and standards, error prevention, recognition rather than recall, flexibility and efficiency of use, aesthetic and minimalist design, help users recognize, diagnose and recover from errors, help and documentation. So before exploring the visibility of system status, let's see the when, who and how stages of heuristic evaluation. So when to use heuristic evaluation. Unlike the usability testing method, a heuristic evaluation can be used at initial stages of design process that is while creating wireframes, prototypes or the high fidelity wireframes. Along with user testing, evaluating the existing design which would help us to resolve the usability issues. So who conducts the heuristic evaluation? It's always recommended that the experienced usability experts or the UX evaluators should conduct the heuristic evaluation with minimum of three and maximum of five evaluators. Now let's see how to conduct heuristic evaluation. If you are analyzing or evaluating a website or an app, no matter what digital product you are evaluating, maybe it can be mockups, it can be wireframes, it can be prototypes, it can be the existing UI design, the process is same to conduct the heuristic evaluation. That is, first you should select usability experts, then you create evaluation phase, maybe it can be in phase one, phase two, and once that is done, you come up with your problem findings, after that you create a report with your own usability recommendations. So in today's video, I will cover the first heuristic evaluation method, which is visibility of system status. So what is visibility of system status? Let's see. The system should always keep users informed about what is going on through proper feedback with reasonable time. So it's like system is interacting with the user. You as a UX designer or being a designer, you will not be with the user all the time. So the system should speak the user language. The user should know where exactly they are on screen, what is the next action they need to accomplish while using any digital product. So let's understand the visibility of system status heuristic with some examples. That is some good examples and the bad ones. So as a user, when I'm copying some files, the status should be very clear that how much percentage the files have been copied or how much percentage it's remaining. So the example which you see on the left hand side, that is it shows 72% done. The status is very clear. Whereas on the right hand side, there's a progress bar, but I don't know as a user how much percentage it has been completed or how much percentage it is left. In this example, let's talk about the login error screen, the most common errors which we see across the internet. So on the left hand side, when the user forgets to type his user ID and he types password and then press the login button, the error would show please enter your valid user ID, which clearly indicates and tells the user or interacts with the user what is exact error. 
and the user ID input field is highlighted with the red border. Whereas on the right side, the user ID input field is not highlighted with the red border, which does not clearly indicate what exactly the error is. And even the text message which shows abstract, that is, there was some error, please fix. It is not clear that the error is in your user ID or please enter valid user ID, like the message on the left hand side. So by doing this, don't make your users think or put cognitive load on their mind. I'm sure these examples were helpful to understand about the first heuristic that is visibility of system status. In my upcoming video, I will talk more about the second, third and fourth heuristics with some quick and simple examples which would help you to understand about the heuristics. So thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did and you would like to have more stuffs like this, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Uxable. See you soon.